Hello, welcome back. As you can tell, things are happening. It's Friday. I just got off of work and I'm in bed eating a calzone because it's rainy outside and I don't have anything uh, really planned. But I do plan on reading three arcs this weekend. That's kind of why I am filming this vlog in the first place. And I thought I'd tell you guys what arcs we're reading and then I'll read them. It'll be so exciting. Um, tomorrow I'm going to get my hair done and hopefully I think the weather is going to be better so I can like take you guys with me to do that and like maybe do other fun stuff. So this is going to be like a little bit more lifestyle-y than some of my other vlogs. But without further ado, let me tell you the book that we're going to be reading so if you don't have any interest in these you don't have to watch. So the first book that I'm going to be reading is called I'm a Crackhead. I was supposed to be reading The Goodbye Summer this weekend because that's what's coming out on May 7th but instead I picked up Don't Date Rose Santos which comes out the week after I believe or later in May. I'm not really sure but I do end up reading it in this vlog and you're going to hear about it. So um I'm stupid, but that's the first book we're going to be reading. Also, The Bride Test by Helen Huang. I got approved for this a while ago and just like haven't gotten around to it. It's about a guy named Kai who has autism and his mom goes to Vietnam to basically get him like a mail order bride. The girl is mixed race and it's basically about their love story and about them like trying to fall for each other. I don't know. It sounds exciting. I really enjoyed Helen Huang's debut novel, so I'm thinking this one's going to be excellent as well. And then the last book is With Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I'm actually already 10% into this one and I'm really, really enjoying enjoying it. I just wasn't really in the mood when I first picked it up, but I could recognize its excellence even then. This is about a girl named Emony or Emoni. I, I, the pronunciation's in the book and I like literally just can't remember how she pronounces her name, but it's about a girl who is a teen mom and it's about her senior year of high school, I believe, and her trying to figure out what she wants to do with her life. She really has passion for cooking and it's infused into the story from like the very, very beginning. She's kind of struggling with the fact that there's going to be like a culinary arts class at her high school. I think part of that class I end up going to Spain for it and she's like I don't know if I can afford this I don't know if, the, if I have the time or the resources to do this but something she's passionate about and I think it's just gonna be kind of very slice of life -y. I don't know I'm I'm enjoying that one so far I'm really really excited to get deeper into that one I think that's the one that I'm gonna start with tonight so I'm excited to like tell you guys about this one but yeah those are the three books that I have picked out three is like ambitious enough for me. I didn't read very much last month, so I want to kind of ease my way back in. And I think it'll be really good to do with some contemporaries. So I'm looking a little bit scary, but you know what? We're gonna have like a cozy night in. I'm gonna eat my calzone until before it gets cold. <laughs> So Saturday night ended up being kind of weird because it was a torrential downpour and it was so loud inside my apartment that I couldn't really record any more clips. And then I got a call at like, I don't know, 8.30 that Hayden's car had broken down on the side of the road. So I had to go and pick him up and that was super exciting. These pictures of me um, that are coming up, you can see that I look like a crackhead when we took him back to his car in the morning, but yes. So I figured we could like get ready together or I could get ready and you could watch me get ready and we can talk about with fire on high because that's what I read last night. But before we do that, I got my shoes for book con in the mail. Bitch, you gonna step on my fucking toe, bitch, with them fucking cow girl fucking boots, bitch, disgusting. That's me kicking you at book con. Um, so I'm gonna keep these on for the rest of this part of the video. I already did my like face makeup and I thought we'd do the rest of it. I'll also, I kind of wanted to show you guys my makeup case cause I don't do my makeup in front of my window very often, but when I do, it's super easy to bring all my makeup with me because of this case. This is the makeup bag that I'm talking about. I say bag, it's more like a case. It's got these dividers that you can like take in and out. There's more of them somewhere else. I don't have them right here, but I just like that it's like kind of a hard shell case and you can put like all of your makeup in here. So right here is like the compartments for actual makeup. Up here, you can't really see it, but it's a brush roll. The top compartment you can put in like palettes and shit like that, like so. And then you can also put more brushes up here. It's like just the best thing ever. It was like 20 or 30 bucks on Amazon, I'll link to it, but I just wanna show it to you guys cause it's um pretty cool. And he's pretty cool and he's pretty cool. Let us start bronzing and talking about With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. So I am enjoying it. Although I was noticing because I was reading a couple of reviews of this recently, like, Think more people have been reading it. I saw one recently that said they like it, but the beginning was confusing to them because it was told kind of like short stories. I was kind of noticing that it is. It's like the first few chapters uh, for the first like 20% of the book, they're not like short stories per se, but each chapter is very self-contained and it'll be like a little anecdote. But I do think the anecdotes kind of move the story forward. So I kind of enjoy that format. I also like that the chapters are very short, so you can kind of put it down whenever. I don't really know where the plot's going. Like I understand that the main character hello hello 
Well, that scared me. So, I am a dirty, no good liar and a cheat. Okay, neither of those things. But Hayden came home and I was a little uncomfy filming while he was there. I usually am. So, I ended up getting all the way ready and dressed for my hair appointment, which I'm going to probably babble about in this next clip. Enjoy this zoomed in thing of Pepe and enjoy my basic bitch outfit. Here you go. I cut off what I was saying, but I'll kind of finish up my feelings on With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo. I'm about 30% in. I like the like short little vignette style at the beginning. I like where it's going. I like the relationships that are kind of displayed. As in, I like the relationship between Emily and her baby daddy. They're no longer together, but they're able to co-parent successfully, which I think is really cool. I didn't read the Poet X, so I was like... I didn't know what to expect going into this, but thus far, I think I'm gonna give it four stars. I mean, I'm only 30% in, so things could change, but it's very well written, and I'm really enjoying getting to see a book written from an Afro-Latinx perspective, getting to see what that experience is like, since I've never read a book about an Afro-Latinx character that I can remember, at least. So, it's good. The rep's good. I'm enjoying it. If you're curious as to why I'm driving, uh, I'm going to my hair appointment. I was kind of on the fence about what I was gonna do with my hair. Yeah, we're chow chowing real smooth out of talking about books. I am going to get my hair done. I've not gotten my hair professionally done in over a year, so I usually don't like color my hair professionally like ever. I've done it once and that was like dying over red hair, but I don't get my hair dyed professionally ever. I dye my hair black about once a year and then haircuts I usually get about once a year. I got a haircut in September, like a friend of a friend cut my hair and she did a good job, but it's just growing really long and I can't do anything with it. This is second day hair and it's just, it's like messy. It's just not, it's not a look that I'm enjoying. And I'm also not liking that the ends of my hair, after I like dye my hair black, the ends of my hair tend to get very reddish after the dye kind of settles in after a while. My natural hair color is not a reddish brown it's a very ashy brown so like my roots are kind of ashy and then the bottom of my hair is reddish and I don't like it while I like like truly red hair I don't like red brown brassy hair so hoping that I can get it kind of like cooled down and trimmed up nicely to where I can like curl my hair again because anytime I attempt to curl my hair now it just looks shitty and it falls within a day whereas like usually I can curl my hair like the first day after my hair is clean and it'll stay curled for like four days and look perfect so I want to get back to that because I'm very low maintenance with my hair I don't know I'm talking a lot about fucking hair it's been on my mind for a while like I've wanted to get my hair done for a while as you can see, I got my hair done and it looks bomb as fuck and it's Pepe approved. Then me and Hayden went out to dinner to a restaurant that only old people frequent and then we got Dairy Queen. Yeah, can I get a grande non-fat chai? Hot. A chocolate croissant. Oh, that's, what you'd like. that's it. Thank you. It's Sunday. Uh, I'm in my car. I just got my Starbucks, which you guys just saw me order. If you were curious as to what my Starbucks order is, that is it. As you can see, my hair looks bomb as fuck. I'm sure it like, doesn't look that much different to you guys. It's just like darker, it's cooler. And to be honest, like the haircut is really what is killer. She really listened to exactly what I said. Chancy, you fucking rock. Like, shout out to you. It's exactly what I wanted, so. <laughs> this is the end of the vlog. I told you guys what I did last night. The last part of last night, I read some Wattpad fanfiction with Kat on FaceTime, which was super fun. And I didn't get much reading done, but whatever. This morning, before I got up, Sundays are like kind of my lazy day in the mornings. Like I just wake up and usually read. That's like the, the, the time that I 100% always, without fail, read. So I got about 35% into Don't Date Rosa Santos. As we have all gathered, I have not finished anything. I'm still about like 30 percent done with with fire on high by elizabeth acevedo and now i am about 35 percent done with don't date rosa santos i am really enjoying this one as well hello i guess this 2019 is the year of really good latinx rap and like awesome contemporaries because i'm loving both of these as of right now i think i'd give it like three and a half four stars it's really good my only issue with it is that it's it's got a premise that to me is not the most interesting like save your town kind of vibes i don't know it's, it's not like the most exciting i tend to prefer a slightly grittier contemporary but the more I get into it, the more I'm really enjoying like the cultural aspects because the main character is Cuban and I'm just really liking all of like the kind of Cuban culture baked in. Like it's just really fun to read about. I love the summer vibes because it's set on the coast of Miami and I don't know, it's just really good. I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm curious to see where things go. The romance so far, I'm not like loving it. It's not insta love, but I'm just not really like feeling the chemistry between the two characters, but I'm hoping that kind of like develops later into the book. So I'm liking it. It's really good. And then I don't really have much to update you guys with for with Fire.
fire on high because I didn't read that much after I talked to you guys last, but it's good. It's getting like a little darker than I thought it would be. Not darker, but the main character is very stubborn and <laughs> is kind of, I don't know. She, I, I like that she is, she is stubborn and she has her own personality, but it's like kind of hard to read about sometimes when I'm like, girl, just fucking listen to the people around you. Although it, it is very high school, it is very, I'm 18 trying to figure out what I'm doing with my life kind of thing. So it's good, I'm really enjoying them. I would highly recommend them. They come out on Tuesday, so definitely pick them up. Like I said, I'm not that far into them, but I can already tell you that they're definitely worth your time. Very good books. I didn't get to the Bright Test this weekend. <laughs> I didn't get to the Bright Test, but I'm okay with that. Like I'll, I'll get to it. It's a romance, so I'm sure I can finish it pretty quickly. I don't think I'll get to it by Tuesday just because tomorrow I'm starting my five female female romance reading vlog but it's fine it'll it'll be fine and you might be like Chandler you have a whole day ahead of you why are you cutting off this vlog I'm pretty sure no one's asking that but I have a lot of shit I have to get done today I need to go and get myself some shampoo and conditioner to make sure that like my hair color doesn't um, fade away really quickly and then I also need to get groceries because I've been eating fast food for every meal for like the past two weeks because I just refused to go to the grocery store. Anyone, can anyone else relate? I'm stupid as fuck. And then I actually had like an epiphany on Friday night. I have a really fun video concept idea or whatever and I'm gonna be filming that tonight. So I just have a lot of shit that I need to get done before the start of next week. So that's why I'm cutting this off right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this in some way. I know that it wasn't very reading filled but you gotta kinda like see my life and what my weekends look like. They're not that exciting but um, yeah. Let me know in the comments down below what you're currently reading and that's pretty much it. I love you guys and until next time.